Good morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on a Thursday here. 7th of June. NASDAQ did a runner last night. Which was a bit surprising. But uh, on that last hour, we climbed above 7200, and now we are firmly above 7200. S&P's have broken out as well. I don't think a lot of people would have predicted this going into this sort of snitty little trade argument. But like everything Trump, uh, I guess what's what it looks like on the surface and what it really is is probably two different things. And I guess we always have to keep checking our bias when we use some sort of Trumponian component in our global macro strategy. Anyway, equities are higher, and there's no doubt about it. We closed on the highs, and here we are. It looks like we're headed for 28.06 in the S&Ps, and currencies are risk on. So... We have this continued squeeze in cable, continued squeeze in euro, uh, which both I consider risk on type trades. Dollar yen is hanging around up here, 109.90. We had an interesting print last night at 22 again. So this 200 day is going to be sort of the litmus test on if this risk on is real or not real. I would argue any hourly close above 22, you got to be long dollar yen. As awkward as that feels. Euro yen, we've been trading from the short side, but really no joy. And as a matter of fact, we just squared our shorts. We sold, like we said yesterday, between 80 and 90. Um, 94 was the high, so that was nice, but. We're just taking the money here and probably looking for cross yen higher today. Aussie yen, we talked about this yesterday. Terrific print at 50 again. Now it's four highs up there. This is a monster technically. Aussie came off on some soft data last night, but got to really keep a close eye on 84.50 in Aussie yen. We will be trading this as a momentum trade, getting long through 50 for a move up to 85.10. 200 days, 85.40. Sterling yen, 148. Same type of deal. Doesn't make any sense, but it doesn't really matter if it makes sense, right? The bars and the price, they are what they are. And this looks like it has more to squeeze. Same high two days in a row. We have the sideways consolidation here through 148. You should be able to collect some pips up there. So let's keep an eye. CAD yen, which has been a pain in the ass, uh, came lower on some polls out of Canada. The Ontario elections are coming up and CAD got slapped based on the results of those polls. No trade here, CAD yet. I'm just going to leave this guy alone. Aussie remains bid. Surely it's a buy on dips, as is Kiwi in this sort of quasi risk on environment and there we are focus technically is on this Aussie yen and the sterling yen oh yeah one last cross yen Swiss yen terrible to trade Swiss yen but kind of the same setup as this Aussie yen here 112 the figure so, how is this going to happen? I don't know, but we'll know from price 
dollar yen surely is going to drive it, and the 200 day at 110.20 is going to be our trigger. Tentatively, awkwardly, risk on, and we're not going to fight it. So we'll be attacking this from the long side, all these yen crosses and dollar yen today. See how we do. Good luck out there, people. I will see you at the New York Club. Ciao.